Hey, what's going on guys and welcome back. In this video, in this lesson, we're actually gonna pick up our hosting and set up our hosting for our content site. If you remember from the website anatomy video, hosting is the dirt on which we're actually gonna build our business and build our website. Now we're gonna be using HostGator as our hosting software because it's very inexpensive and it's very beginner friendly. So below this video, there's gonna be a button that'll take you right over to HostGator where you can actually follow along for the rest of the video. Let's hop into the computer and get to it. Okay, so we're here on HostGator's website. You should be seeing this screen or something similar. And to really just get started here with HostGator, they have this big yellow get started button, which we're gonna click on there. Now that's gonna bring you here to HostGator's pricing page. And on this page, you'll be able to actually pick your plan. And there is absolutely no reason to get anything more than the Hatchling plan if this is your first business, your first affiliate business. This is, all, this is really all you need, single website. Now, in addition to being very beginner friendly, I've also chosen HostGator because they give you this. It's a free SSL certificate. Now, if you go onto a website and you see the HTTP slash slash, that is a non-secure website. If somebody goes on their phone and they go onto that, they'll get a big warning that says, hey, your website's not secure. And a lot of people will actually click back off. That'll hurt your conversion rate. To get the HTTPS type website, that's a secure website. Your website will need a, an SSL certificate, a security certificate. And HostGator includes all of these with their plans. So we're gonna go here, we're gonna click buy now, get the hatchling plan. Now the question you're probably wondering is, hey Dom, why did I not get the one year of free domain from my HostGator plan? And the reason is you never, as a rule, you generally don't wanna buy your domain and you're hosting at the same place. Over time and as your business grows, you may wanna change your hosting platform to something maybe dedicated, something a little bit faster, something a little bit more expensive. And if your domain and your hosting are bought from the same provider, it makes it very, very hard to do that. So up at the top, here we go, I already own this domain. And what you would do now is you would actually add, the, add your domain that you've bought from Namecheap in this line. Now I'm actually building a website as I'm creating this program. So I'm going to name the, uh, I'm gonna bring in the domain name that I've previously bought from Namecheap myself. When we come on down here to our hosting plan, I'm gonna recommend that everyone go on the Hatchling plan. Because again, if it's your first website, it's your first business, there's no reason to get too fancy. And now here's far as a billing cycle. Now, with host, unlike with your domain registration, with hosting, you actually get a bulk discount if you commit upfront. Now this is something that HostGator does, I'm not a huge fan of it, but you'd see that they commit you to 36 months at 275 a month upfront. But if you do the math and you come down here, they want a $156 order. Again, if you have a budget that allows it and you want to commit to it for three years, great. I'm not, I don't want to stop you. But if you're just starting out, commit to one month. One month, $10.95, that's it. You'll also want to come down here, create your HostGator account, enter your billing info. After you've filled in all of your information above, you're going to come down here to the additional services and you're going to uncheck the site backup and uncheck site lock essentials. Now this might seem silly at first because why would you want to not back up your site and why would you not want to secure it? Well, we're actually going to find other tools that are free that do the same thing. Down here, sometimes you can find a coupon code or not. You can probably just do a search. I'm not sure when you're, when you're actually viewing this. Now, if you come down here, based on all the changes that we made, that what was a $156 order is now only an $11 order. Now I'm gonna go in, fill in my information off camera and I'll meet you guys on the next screen. Okay, so after we have everything filled in, we're gonna click the check out now button. It's gonna take you to this loading screen while they set up your account. After your account is finished getting set up, you'll see this screen, which is your dashboard inside of HostGator. I'm gonna end this lesson right here. In the next lesson, we're gonna set up our custom email addresses.